Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logics. This is the frequency of the most frequent element. It is a lead code medium and the number for this is 1838. So I am sure that it will be an easy question for you if you watch the video till the end. So in this question, uh, we are told about what a frequency of the element is. As you may be knowing that the frequency of an element is the number of times the uh, element occurs in an array or whichever data structure it is and uh, we are given with an integer array nums and an integer k and uh, we have to we can choose an in index of nums and increment that element by the index 1 okay we can always increment the array we cannot decrease and we have to return the maximum possible frequency of an element after performing at most k elements so okay let's see so suppose we try to make take the example one so it has one two four and k equal to five so in this what we can do that uh, we can take two pointers and maintain a sum variable to track the sum of the elements within the window of the two pointers and uh, then accordingly we can store the answer <clears throat> so <clears throat> the goal here is to maximize the frequency of an maximize the frequency of an element by performing at most at most k operations <clears throat> i'm sorry for the voice uh, at most at most k operations where each operation increments an element at a chosen index by one and sort the array helping creating a sequence that maximizes the frequency so as you can see here and this array is all, already sorted so we need not sort this and then we can use two pointer keep a pointer uh, at the starting and maintain a sum variable increment i adjust the window until the difference between the total sum and the and the total sum and the sum within the window is less than equal to k so you have to uh, increment the uh, ith pointer till the time there is the difference between the total sum and the sum sum within the window is less than or equal to k because we, what we can do we can increment the element until uh, we are less than k so that we'll check the total sum and the window sum should be the difference should be less than or equal to k and uh, if it is then we can keep the track of the maximum window length which represent the maximum frequency so let's start with the coding section but before that please do like the video subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel and share it with your friends so the first step here is sorting sort the array although the given array is already sorted but because it is not written anywhere that the input element will be and this one is not sorted so we need to sort it so First of all, we have to do arrays dot dot, and then we have to declare the two pointers. Declare i equal to zero, j equal to zero. We need a sum variable, and uh, we also need to store the max. Currently, the max length is zero. And we have to then iterate through the nums of uh, nums array. So for this, we'll use i i less than nums dot length i plus plus sum plus. So sum will store the total sum of the nums at any point 
and here we are going to check so the total if we are making each element equal to nums of i so the total will be i minus j plus 1 into nums of i this will be the total if you make every element with nums of i here minus sum if it is greater than k so if it is greater than k it is not of our use we do a sum minus equal to nums of i and the j plus plus otherwise we store the mat dot max and we have to return the max length simple let's see I have tried to Okay, so we are having time limit exceeded. That means we might have error somewhere. Let me check. Okay, there was the error. I have written nums of i, I instead of nums of j. So this seems fine. Let's try to submit it. Okay, done. So let me tell you just this part. So we have to increment uh, i and adjust the window until there is a difference between the total sum and the sum between the window here this is the total sum and this is the sum if we make all the elements of the window nums of i so you are taking we are taking the length of the window into nums of i so this becomes the length of the window if all the elements become nums of i so this is actually how i thought the solution should be and we have to keep the track of maximum length at all times and simply return the max length if we talk about the time complexity is n log n because of this otherwise it would have been o of n and the space complexity is o of 1 because we are not using any other data structure we use constant space so this was my solution for today's problem i hope you understood the logic thank you for watching the video share it with your friends like the channel subscribe like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching the video. Have a nice day.